guys, I'm Isabel. I'm Tamara. Today we're gonna do a YouTube Q&A, which is obviously in the title. We just realized that the whole reason that we decided to do this YouTube channel was because we wanna be able to look back on our life and appreciate all the things that we've accomplished, all the different vacations we've gone on, and just little tiny mi milestones within our relationship, but also separately, right? Yeah. So we feel like with the reaction videos, it's not exactly showing that. Although we love to do it and it's a lot of fun and we enjoy like laughing and they're easy to make and they're fun We'll probably continue doing those But we really want to do more lifestyle videos because we feel like that's the whole reason we wanted to do this in the first place Two months ago. We made an Instagram joint account. It's just our names like on YouTube Isabel and Tamara We had you guys ask us a few questions for this Q&A and you guys asked us a lot more questions than we thought we would even receive Yeah, so um, that's what this video is going to be about, a little intro to our, us and our lives and where we're at right now and where we have been. So, first question that we got was, what was the feeling where you reached a thousand subscribers? Greetings from Germany. A thousand subscribers, I think she means, um, followers. followers. And that's by x.l.x.e. X dot N dot X dot A. <laughs> we were so excited. I was so like, excited. We started the account and like, we started it two December. months ago. Yeah. yeah, December. And we were like, just like, it was so crazy how fast we were able to grow it. Our goal for January was to um, get a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. I mean, followers. And we did it and it was, just one feeling. of the best feelings ever. Like it's so awesome to be able to have that many followers like watching us and like we've been doing lives a lot more lately so it's even more interactive than it's ever been so it's been really awesome. Our second question is how to tell a girl you like them but they are dating a girl and the girl is your crush by AR374543. I feel like we could that? Yeah, sadly. So <laughs> I don't know already, like when me and Isabel got together. Well, before we got together, oh, yeah. Isabel had a little crush on me, but I was a with little, someone little else. Crush, crush, crush. And she kind of had to <laughs> deal with that. I feel like you have to be respectful about it. Like, honest. Yes. this is like an honest answer. Mm -hmm. You have to be respectful about it. You can't, like, you know, force yourself on them because if they really do love that person, you can't, you can't change that for them because then that just makes you look like a bad person almost so like yeah you have to just like let it take its time like when me and the person i was with broke up then me and isabel it was that was like our time and like to like further that like from my perspective like i always had a crush on you but like we were best friends at the time and so i knew that she liked this other person and so since i was also friends with that person but I was more friends with you. I feel like I wanted to just be able to be in our friendship and appreciate our friendship and be there as a friend, like through everything. Like even when you had good times, I wasn't gonna sit there and be like jealous and like envious of you or the other person. But like I wanted to make sure that I was like being a friend to you, like being a good best friend to you and like appreciating your highs and appreciating your lows. You just have to be respectful. It's a it's a very hard situation. When did you guys meet, by the way? You guys are the cutest. From uh -huh. Ola.stupida.erica with a K. Huh? Thank you, first of all. Yeah. We've been dating for over three years. We were friends for a year before that, so we met in like we met in like 2015 through yeah. like Twitter. We're friends. Yeah. But yeah, we met on Twitter like in 2015. Or no, it was 2016. It was the end of 2015, early 2016. Yeah, we were best friends for like almost a year-ish and then we started dating in September. We met through having Twitter handles for Alessia Cara. Um, she's a Grammy nominated and a winning artist. Um, so we met through her and we all had Twitter handles and like we all related to each other because we liked her as an artist. So it was easy for us to like get along and we all met at a music festival like she said and the rest yeah. is history. Um, do you guys have sex? No. No, we are celibate and we are abstinent. 
uh, abstinent. And that was from who? That was from Abig underscore A I L A T. There's your answer. K. Right, next. Next. <laughs> um, By Katie Dot Gay. She asked if we get questions like who's top, who's bottom, and how do we feel about those questions. Do we've definitely got asked that question before. I feel like Ben asked that question by people who are in the community too. Yeah. I feel like it's just normal, but I, I like that, I prefer that question other than who's the boy, who's, who's the girl. Who's the man, who's the husband? <laughs> Someone DM'd us the other day and it was no context, it just said who's which, the husband? which one of you is the husband. I and Isabel said, said you. <laughs> we are a lesbian couple and he said, okay, but who is the husband? I don't know, that one doesn't really bother me because it's like, it's not saying like who is the boy or who's the girl. It's like, you know, it's like asking like who is the more like dominant one, I guess. Yeah. All right guys, sorry we had to move our location again. This is why we really want an apartment. When did you two come out and are your families supportive? I came out after she came here. I invited her over from Nebraska where she's from. We'd only been dating for three months and it was the first time I, we like met in person like as a couple. Yeah. And, and my parents just thought that she was a friend so I finessed my girlfriend here from a whole nother state and I didn't tell her to the end but they already had kind of an idea of what was going on. Well, and I we said, were bawling our eyes out and uh, yeah. we'll tell the story another time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, were they supportive? Yeah, mine was supportive. They kind of already knew. So that goes off with the last question that we had. But yeah, mine were. Uh, my mom was like, um, she's like, She's pretty chill, but I didn't think she would care, but she did kind of have like a little bit of like, like what to it, and like I was a little bit offended, and then I was like self-conscious and stuff, but like she doesn't, she, she doesn't care. I think it just caught her off guard, Yeah. but she doesn't care. Just living as a family. Oh, lovely. <laughs> this is a bad bitch party thick. <laughs> what? Ask a bunch of questions. Yeah, that's their username. This the is bad, the bad bitch, bitch party. party. <laughs> first question: Is there anything you wish you could change about you and Isabel's relationship? So that's for you. No. Yeah, you better Not say no. <laughs> no, I think like we have a very, very, very good understanding of each other. So like, we never have any like fights. serious problems or fights really or anything. Like everything is like, of course, like things aren't perfect, but like. When things get harder or something, like we just talk it out. Like we never, I don't mm -hmm. think we've ever raised like our voices at each other ever. We just aren't like we're both just really calm people. Yeah. And we're both psychology majors. So yeah. <laughs> that says a lot. But you guys plan on being together for the rest of your life, for sure. I feel like we're like the same person. I mean, I don't want to talk are for you. you. I don't want to talk <laughs> for you. But like, I feel like we are literally the same person and we get along so well. The biggest fight you and Tamara have had. We didn't really get into fights. Like we like have some disagreements, but like we talk it all out. And I think it's because we are psych majors. So like, there's just no, like that's just what you learn. You have to talk out your problems. Our problems are so like goofy yeah. and like small and that like, just laugh it when I th think back to them, like it's like, that wasn't even like, that wasn't even a fight. It was just like, Conversation. Took something the wrong way. <laughs> this is fun. Do you regret anything about you and Tamara's relationship? No, like I said, kind of off of like the last couple questions, I feel like we are like the same person. We get along so well. Like we think everything out. B Smith 932 said, how often do you and your partner fight? And on a first name basis, how often do you say babe or sweet or other pet names other than your real names? Us fighting, we already talked about that, but first name basis stuff. If she says my name, I get scared or uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm just so used to her saying, we call each other boob. I don't, I don't even know, know how that started. We call it booby. Yeah, it started, it started as booby, and it was like, um, that was like when we first, right? Like, that was probably like but the it, first month. It's just funny because when we're in public, like, it's just like the first instinct for me to call you. So then when we're in public, like, that's such like a weird thing to but just be booby, saying, yeah. and then I'm like, but, but I'm like, oh. When did you know she's the one? I guess that's for both of us, because we're both 
cheese. So yeah, don't remember a specific incident, but I definitely know it was probably something with me like having a mental breakdown because she's very calming. I have a lot of those and she always brings me back and guides me through them and it's very nice and I think that's how I knew because I feel like dealing with people who have mental illness can be very like overwhelming for them, like for the person dealing with it, but also for the person having to watch that happen. I want to hear yours. It's not really normal to see me be sad. Like I'm one of those people that's like always over the top happy, like about everything. Like every every day is just a great day. And I like, wake <laughs> up. Like I was the kid in high school to like run down the hallway and screaming at six o'clock in the morning, like jumping around and getting everyone hyped. Like I like no matter how much sleep I got like I'm always happy yes. so it's not really normal to see me sad so I feel like when I am it's like I try to like get out of it because it's like not my comfort zone so I feel like you always have just been so like respectful of that like because I feel like some people are like very vulnerable mm -hmm. other people like try not to be that way yeah. but like when I am like you're just very nurturing and kind This is by Ocean, F-R-N-T-N-A-Z. Um, she said, my daughter is lesbian. I'm so proud of her, I could burst. Huh? She's a senior in high school and has never let anyone put her down on her friends. We moved to Arizona from a very small town in Alabama. Wow, population is only 1,200. She dealt with those who are afraid of people who aren't afraid to be who they are. Even here in Arizona, she deals with the occasional all you need is a man. In fact, she has self-defense classes now. Did you two ever have to go through something like this? That's a great question. First of all, I just want to say that you're an amazing mother. Yeah. Because like, having to come out is probably one of the worst slash best feelings that you could experience because it's like it's almost like something that's just like never ending like you always like you have to out. do it over and over and over again and it's just so difficult like i hate like um starting like a new <clears throat> job because i know like the first thing i'm gonna get asked is like or like once i get comfortable with people like they're gonna be like so do you have a boyfriend mm -hmm. and it's always the question where it's like i either depending on like like i kind of like get a feel from them based on like how I've talked to them and what I've talked to them about and like if I can tell like they're gonna be okay with it then I'll be like uh no I don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend yeah. and then usually it goes okay well it's, uh, actually every time I've come up to someone which I do all the time now like I just don't even hide it anymore really but it's always went well so far Carolyn with a K underscore over guard underscore says what do you love the most about your relationship I feel like it kind of goes back to what we just said about how we knew we were the one. My favorite thing is that I can be vulnerable with her and not feel judged. Even when we were best friends, like that's why we were best friends. Like I could tell her anything and she would I think that's also why we care. work so well though. Because we were best friends for a long time. Like best, best friends. Like yeah. FaceTime for 12 hours best friends. Like yeah. I never had that with anyone, even the people that I went to high school with. And another question is from Evelyn Natalia, um, has there been a point where you thought it wouldn't last? No, but I definitely do think that during our long distance situation, shit was hitting the fan. Like I was getting angry, she was getting frustrated, but I never thought like we would break up. It wasn't like frustration at each other necessarily, it was more at the situation. Because I feel like a lot of people who like go to the same school and they're like in the same everything, like they don't appreciate their love as much because they were always together. Yeah. Like we had to like fight to even be together for more than two times in one year. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for everyone that decided to send us questions and took the time to literally write out all these questions you guys asked really good questions we appreciate you appreciating our love don't forget to like <laughs> comment and subscribe on this video it means so freaking much and if you guys don't know because we haven't really talked about it on here if you want to follow our instagram it's yes. just isabel and tamara yes all instagram. our socials will be down in the description thank you guys so much we love you we and we'll see you later this week